Hello, my name is Kayum Fukwe Kaho. And as you already know, our objective is to promote citizenship education via art and culture. So a good citizen participates to all activities organized in order to build a better world. So are you a good citizen? In our last intervention, we encouraged you to, to go back to school in order to better your life and also to be able to communicate, to be able to speak well. Well, it's as if we knew that the moment to communicate has come because as you all know, we will soon gather around a, a table to share, to discuss and find solutions in order for us to live together. Will you be able to say something in such a way that people listen to you and they understand what you're trying to say? Will your message be coherent enough and convincing? Will you be able to use language well for people to understand you? That's the question. And that's why I was saying, please, let's go back to school. One of uh, the missions of uh, education as Propose as, as says the law number 98 bar 004 of April 14, 1998 in Cameroon asks us to train citizens who are enrooted in their culture and open to the world and who respect general interest as well as common good. So I sometimes have the feeling that we have trained people who are more open to the world than enrooted in their cultures. Are you enrooted in your culture? Or better still, do you transmit what you receive from your parents to your own offsprings? Do they speak our languages? Do they know our cultures? Maybe the solution to our national problem, to our problem of living together, lies in those cultures. Our cultures are so rich, they have, they contain a lot of wisdom. And sometimes I wonder how the people, our people used to live together. Let's take, for instance, the Jo, the Banjun people. You know, Jo means by, because the founder of uh, that uh, community used to buy slaves and so, uh, with those people, he expanded his empire. So the present Banjun you see is made up of people from different horizons who have been living together for decades and they have been doing it so well that I think maybe we should interrogate their culture, interrogate their history, as well as many of our cultures and, 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 and languages to find the wisdom necessary for us to live together. Maybe you don't know in our schools and uh, high schools, colleges, primary schools in Cameroon, national languages and cultures are taught as well as in the higher teacher training colleges of Yaoundé and Bertua, where teachers of these languages and cultures are trained. So this is an opportunity for you to go to school, to send your children to those schools, to attend those courses and learn our languages and our cultures. I am grateful to all of you who have been following us everywhere in the world. Thank, we are thanking particularly Africa Live World Mission. They've called on us to go in all the assemblies and try to share these ideas on education with their members. So tomorrow we will start with the assemblies of Yaoundé and as time goes on we will go reach other people everywhere where we will be needed. So please come with your ideas, come with your questions and together we shall share and find solutions. Please if you have comments just type them under the page thank you for following us go on following us now i am cooking some uh, 
cassava leaves. And you know, I also have my own idea about this uh, national dialogue. Maybe if one day before we come together in a, in a fair, we organize a cultural fair where we shall present all the our cultural elements, that's our, our clothes, our traditional meals, maybe we that will make us ready to understand one another because just imagine the anglophone coming with his arrow and the arrow is is eaten by the uh, the guy from the north do you think that guy from the north will not listen to you with a lot of attention if he loves that food it is the same thing that will happen if we learn from one another we try to see the beauty in one another's culture so Thank you for following us and we shall meet again very soon. Ciao.